desert area. Which one? You guess. Inside that pyramid? Dot JPEG? I saw Eggman go inside the pyramid. And more importantly, I saw that Batgirl go inside with him as I really don't care about the cannon that wait, what? Right? Amy did? We should be able to get Okay, like I thought this was like a from the beginning of the game thing. But apparently Amy saw it too. And then kick their Imperial Six Ember Tyrannus! <laughs> I love the way the music cuts out there. Sonic and Knuckles are just like, oh, Tails is doing a thing. I guess we'll just hold this pose until he's done then. Alright, so we've got another Tails stage. This one's a lot like Eggman's stage, except it's in the daytime, and it's a bit harder because it's not early game, it's mid game. So, we are at the point where we're going to be doing a lot more stuff as the hero side. Uh, Dark Story kind of had their whole, uh, their whole thing happen, and now that they're waiting for their countdown timer to go down to either rule the world or blow it up, I guess, uh, now the heroes have to go into action. I kind of appreciate that, like, the best they provided for Dark Story was just, like, Rouge and Shadow were kind of tailing everybody. Though, <laughs> to be honest, like, I know the fact that the heroes didn't acknowledge them at all is supposed to be like a whole oh, that we didn't even notice we were being tailed all along sort of thing, but like, I like to read it as Rouge and Shadow just kind of fucking up. <laughs> like the entire time they're like, all right, we're gonna follow Team Sonic and then we're gonna stop them from reaching our ba- oh, they're in an airplane, they're getting away. Okay, Shadow, you got the- oh. They're in an airplane. They're getting away. <laughs> so yeah, it's supposed to be like more of a kind of a secret hack victory thing, right? Like Sonic and party are making their way to uh, Eggman's base, but uh, they're not getting there undetected. Oh, another thing I love though about this stage in particular. So at the start of the stage, we had plenty of gun robots as per usual. But the farther you get, the more of Eggman's face becomes apparent. Like, we're getting a lot more of these tubes with his face on it. And not only that, we're getting badniks at this point. Like, actual badniks. Like the ones from Sonic Adventure. Remember these guys? I remember them. We haven't been fighting them, like, at all in the game so far. But that's because the game didn't call for it. Because we were either playing as Eggman and his party, or Gun were just inserting themselves into the scene to try to just ruin whoever's day they could. Whoever is present, we want you to feel worse about yourself and your progress. <laughs> also another cool thing to note, uh, the Gun robots release like this tube of energy, that, that sort of thing, uh, while the Badniks as always release animals. Uh, there is a difference. Uh, we have been able to pick up, like, random animals in these stages so far, as you might have noticed. Uh, I haven't really talked about it much, because that's for Chow Garden, and I'm going to level with you. I don't care much about Chow Garden, as you could probably tell from the fact that I have ignored all of the Chow Garden boxes so far, and I just haven't gone there. Uh, oh God, it's eight parts in and we're so far through the game, but I guess I could mention, uh, the boxes with the chow faces on them have keys, uh, and if you keep the key to the end of the stage, then that character goes to the chow garden. Uh, I believe you only need to go to the chow garden once in order to unlock it on the map. However, I haven't gone to chow garden at all, because again, I don't care. <laughs> I mean, look, I'm going to agree that, like, Sega is, you know, just leaving money on the table by not releasing, like, a standalone Chow Garden game. I do dread the idea that they would make it, like, a microtransaction thing, but, like, if it was done well, people would be happy with that sort of pet raising simulator. I just, I personally don't care that much. I've <laughs> never much cared for it, though. To be fair, that is because it is in the Sonic Adventure games, and, like, the thing is, I'm never in the mood for a pet simulator when I'm playing a Sonic game, 
But then I'm not in the mood for a Sonic game when I tried to do the, the Chow Raising Simulator. Like, if I'm doing that, I don't just want to randomly go to grind in Sonic stages. If I want to play a stage in a Sonic game, I want to do it because it's fun, not to just pick up, like, a line or something. That is, in fact, not at all a thing I want to do. Anyway, that's the end of the stage. Good job, Tails, you found the entrance. <laughs> By one of those gigantic statues with Eggman's head on it, but gigantic pecs. I did it, Sonic! These ancient statues I've culturally appropriated are very swole. Alright, so Tails found the entrance and Sonic's just getting right into it. So, Pyramid Cave. God, I love this song. Not too keen on uh, the beginning bit here. Um, this part of the stage is a little finicky. Uh, getting through the hoops, uh, light speed dashing through these rings. I could be doing a much more impressive run, but I messed up more than I was able to successfully do that, so I didn't really want to do that over and over again. <laughs> I would like to be impressive, but yeah, no, a few things are a bit finicky, so I would prefer to just make forward progress instead of just trying to keep up with that. That being said, though, uh, ignoring that, I do like Pyramid Cave as a stage. It might be the song. Oh, hi, Gamma. Uh, but it is a pretty fun stage. I enjoyed this one a lot, even though it was a little difficult to learn. However, we also unlock Garbage. So, the bounce attack... The bounce attack basically lets you do this. You press the B button in the air, Sonic slams down, and goes a bit higher than he did before. So you can get a lot of vertical space by doing this, and it's actually pretty quick to do so. However, you might have noticed that the B button is the same button that you use for the light speed dash. So, as you might imagine, it's absolutely possible to go for a light speed dash and then slam to the ground, thus ruining it. Which isn't a huge deal for... Get off me. Uh, which isn't a huge deal for rings that are along the ground that you're trying to light speed dash. If you're trying to do mid-air ones, you'll die. And yes, I do know this from experience. Oh, so much experience. It's probably happened in at least every stage it possibly could from this point onwards. Anyway, uh, if you're wondering, uh, this- these are copies of Gamma, of course. They're not the true Gamma because, you know, they're a different bird and, you know, they've, they've got a different soul. Well, they can even have a soul at all. I do like this detail, though, because, like, as far as Eggman knows, Gamma was the only successful E-Series robot, other than Beta. But, you know, he never really got to use Beta, but like... As far as Eggman was concerned, like... The only thing he didn't do was kill Sonic. He wasn't able to actually finish him off, but I believe he left before he saw Gamma's actual betrayal. So like, not killing Sonic, yeah sure, it's not ideal, but like, plenty of his robots haven't killed Sonic. Otherwise, he did manage to find that cool frog that had a tail on it, which none of the other robots did. So, like, why not recreate Gamma? He was the most successful E-Series, so now we just have to kill many of him, because he was cloned. Don't cry, it's not the same one. Gamma would want it like this, he wouldn't want facsimiles of himself being used in this way. Anyway, though, this is a pretty difficult stage, as I said before. Very tricky. Uh, the little hourglasses that you have to flip over open... Rude. Uh, open up doors. And man, the timings on some of these doors are really tight. Like, seriously, you cannot mess around in this stage. You gotta get to the doors quickly. Or you're just gonna have to double back. Which is, in certain situations, quite a pain. That one wouldn't have been terrible, but it wouldn't have been good, either. Also, yes, I'm very annoyed by the, uh, clone gam gamma enemies. 
they do like to shoot a lot, and there's really no wa warning when they're going to, so sometimes you just kind of get hit. So anyway, that's it for this stage. Pyramid Cave is over and done with. However, just made it. Really, only a ranks. Why are Sonic stages so brutal in this game? Looks like we're heading toward the center of the base. <laughs> he sounds so tired. Egghead sure loves mechanical things, doesn't he? Also, that's really the best you can come up with, Sonic. Sonic, you fought the man for years, <laughs> and you're just like, huh, I think Eggman likes machines or something, right? Maybe he's got a rocket? Ah. Uh. Right, Knuckles? Hey, Knuckles, you've seen Eggman like use robots before, right? I think he likes robots. Alright, well, I guess Knuckles has to be along for something. So, death chamber, death chamber, death chamber, it's a death chamber. Go here for a necessary item. It's the hammer gloves. These increase punch attack power, which is just means that it can break better crates. Okay, so, thankfully, while this stage should look familiar, there aren't any robot- or there's no, like, robot beetle here. I was about to say there are no robots, which is patentedly untrue, but, uh, the, the security robot from Rouge's version isn't here anymore, so you don't have to worry about just not being able to be in a room for a minute because some guy decided to vacuum. Otherwise, though, yeah, no, the stage is still annoyingly segmented and just a pain to get around. So, I have the same solution as I did for Rouge's stage, which is to say, I just kind of went around in a circle for the most part. I have a circuit that I needed to complete. Uh, oh, and of course, keep in mind that you're not looking for something green, you're looking for a key. Uh, in case that's a problem. I mean, to be fair, it could be. You know, mentally you might just be looking for emerald shard still, but you're not. Uh, so, I will say while we're here, um, I already commented on Knuckles' role in the story, but now he's actually part of the party. There, may be some there might be, but there might also not be. But anyway, yeah, uh, Knuckles is kind of just here, which is, to be fair, kind of how Rouge operates as well. Uh, Eggman and Shadow are, you know, the initial pair. Eggman's the leader, uh, Shadow follows... Uh, because he's the one who knows the arc like the back of his hands, and he has all the knowledge to use the arc to fulfill Eggman's plan. Rouge just decided to tag along for mysterious reasons, but also so she could steal more Ma Master Emerald shards, so she's sort of the odd card out. Uh, and certainly, uh, in this group of rogues, uh, she is the least trustworthy, you know, in their eyes, because she's still weird. Meanwhile, on the other hand, Knuckles is trustworthy. Sonic and Tails know him. He- they've fought together before. It's fine. They are... friends, we'll say. You know, Knuckles' spikes still go through boulders, and that's why he stays a loner, but he tags along pretty frequently. Nonetheless, he's kind of still just in this situation to find the Master Emerald as well. <laughs> like, he just sort of accidentally appeared in the party, and then they just sort of dragged him along because, like, it's Knuckles! We know that guy! He should be here! And lo and behold, as it turns out, they needed him to find these keys. And I do mean need. It wasn't just Sonic being an ass. Uh, Knuckles can actively sense the emerald... Almost said emerald shards. He can actively sense the keys because I guess he can always sense treasure even when it's not specific to him. Kind of figured, you know, being the guardian of the Master Emerald, that was, you know, specifically his powers, but... <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot about Flat Eggman. That caught me off guard. <laughs> Alright, well, now we know the last key is near Flat Eggman. Uh, anyway, though, yeah, uh, where was I? <laughs> Uh, I was at Flat Eggman, and that is where I will be for the remainder of my days. Uh, <laughs> right, yeah, Knuckles is here to 
I, I thought Knuckles was only able to find emerald shards, but he's always been described as a treasure hunter. Uh, and, you know, even back in the days where he had a hat, he was, you know, technically going around for treasure. <laughs> Look, that, that's a different canon, but I don't care. <laughs> it still counts, it was still part of his character, and it still is part of his character. Bonk. R.I.P. <laughs> Rip to you, but I'm different. Uh, but yeah, um... Yeah, it's just a general treasure sense. And I guess, technically speaking, uh, these keys are treasure, so... They should count. But yeah, ev even just the whole, like, emerald or treasure radar aside... Some of these can only be found by Knuckles, so if they didn't have them along, uh, Sonic and Tails would have to get into archaeology. Also, goddamn, it's been ages since I found those first two keys, huh? I thought I was on a roll, but no. It's still taking a while to just loop around. Oh, thank god. We're finally nearing the flat egg, man. And I almost got flattened myself, so thank god for that shield. Uh, believe it or not, this is one of my better runs. I mean, look. Could I have done better? Probably. But, like... Please understand that this is just a matter of me restarting the stage over and over again to find the RNG for the key placements. That sucks less ass than going around and finding nothing for the first key, for like five minutes. It's closer. Flat Eggman was over here. So yeah, it was over here all along. So let's find that Flat Eggman, not get flattened ourselves. Let's just, I would like to tap that without being crushed to death. Thank you. There we go, Flat Eggman. All right, well, that was miserable. So yeah, uh, the security robot wasn't there. But this stage theme still sucks ass. Yeah, and what do you mean A rank? That's... That took six minutes! What do you mean A rank? That wasn't an A rank! What? Huh? Who's there? That's me, King Boo Boo! That's right! <laughs> they named a ghost Boo! Take that, Mario! Alright, so... The King of Ghosts. King Boom Boo. Alright, so, all Rainbow Tongue here is going to make absolutely ridiculous noises. Now, uh, you can run way faster than he can, or way faster than he can float, but uh, chances are, if you go too fast, then he'll just turn around and start chasing you the other way. So basically what you need to do is let him trail you just close enough that he continues to be behind you. Uh, just, you know don't actually get too far. Uh, eventually he will tire out, and then you can just do this whole rigmarole of opening up the ceiling so that he gets weak, digging him out of the floor or a wall, and then just... <laughs> Somebody made these noises! Uh, but anyway, yeah, it's just digging him out of the floor or a wall, and then uh, you can bop him. I think theoretically you can get more than one hit on him, but I never could. But yeah, no, uh, the farther you get in this fight, the more likely it is that he's going to turn around if you get too far. Uh, the first hit you get on him, you can actually theoretically, like, go all the way around and hit him, uh, and it'll be fine. Uh, but yeah, later hits, though, he's on the ball. He's not gonna let you actually, uh, hit him too soon. Uh, but yeah, I do love that they just felt the need to put a boss fight here, because they're like, eh, Knuckles hasn't really had any boss fights yet, let's give him one. Uh, what if he just fought a weird-looking ghost who just made the most ludicrous sounds? And nobody actually acknowledged this other than Knuckles. Like, what the fuck is Knuckles going to tell the rest of the group? No, Sonic, I'm being serious. There was totally a big ghost with a rainbow tongue, and he chased me around and threw fireballs. Man, that was one hell of a trip. I got so high. Knuckles, have you ever considered that you're not actually getting high, and you're just using drugs as an excuse to detach yourself from a world you're too terrified to understand? No. That's dumb. Shut up, I'm high. It was totally a weed thing. Ah, uh, but yeah, no, just... 
I don't think he will tell anybody this. I think he'll just keep it to himself. Uh, also worthy of note, if Knuckles has looked a bit afraid, uh, that's because they just decided to make him afraid of ghosts. Actually, I think to be fair, that's a long-running factoid about Knuckles. The oldest known fact I know about him that's kind of obscure is the fact that his favorite fruit is grapes. I think that fact is pretty old. And, like, nobody knows it. It's a very minor thing, but yeah, no, I think he was afraid of ghosts before Sonic Adventure 2. They didn't just look at Knuckles and think, You know what? Let's give this man a Luigi trait. Oh. <laughs> God damn it, he made those sounds. I forgot he has specific sounds for turning around. He has the bruh, 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 bruh sounds. And yeah, like, if you're trying to run away from him and getting too far, he will make those sounds over and over again. I do kind of wish I kept one of my earlier takes where I forgot that that's how this battle worked. And so he was just making those noises constantly, but, um, yeah. King Boom Boo. Uh, take that, Nintendo. We'll just name our ghosts Boos as well. <sighs> that was pretty rough. We did it! Let's go I've just been stretching this entire time. What have you been doing? How dare you kill King Boom Boo! <laughs> I love that smug ass smile so much. Just leave it to me. I will actually kill you right now. And I'm the egg golem. I got the master plan and a giant statue. All right, here we go. It's the egg golem, the golem. All right, so for this boss, we're waiting for him to kind of just uh, show his weakness, like so. Uh, there are platforms on his back. Uh, the last three are target jumpable, so that you can target jump his weakness. Alright, so every time he hits one of these platforms, uh, it's going to sink a little bit. Uh, there is quicksand down there. You can survive it, and if you fall down and don't drown immediately, uh, you can jump up, grab one of those uh, pulleys, and leap up. Or come back to the uh, arena, rather. Uh, Egg Golem has a spin attack. You can jump over it, but the easiest way to actually dodge it is to take advantage of the fact that the platforms are constantly lowering. Because, yeah, he usually attacks at a certain height, so he'll also start at a certain height with his spin. Uh, he'll start at, like, the highest platform. Uh, so therefore, if you're standing on a lower platform, he just can't get you. He doesn't shift for these lower ones. Man, dude, you are screwing yourself over. If you just did the spin attack from the start, you wouldn't have ruined these platforms. You really need to get used to your own arena, my man. Well, it looks like he's kind of just electrocuting a little bit. We've almost broken that device. I think we're pretty close, just a couple of hits off, so... Let's go for it once more. Alright. And with this, Sonic, give me a good battle cry. Eh. Here I go! Was that supposed to be animated? It looks a little weird not actually <laughs> coursing. Who you call a piece of junk? <laughs> just the slow move and just no. Alright, and now it's time for Eggman's version of the Egg Golem. Because this was here before Eggman got here, and it seems he culturally appropriated it. How dare you, Eggman? I mean, if he, technically speaking, I'm not misusing the phrase. He is trying to make an empire. Uh, anyway, though, this battle works a lot different. Uh, 
in that you just shoot him in the chest a bit instead of climbing up his back. Same general rule of thumb, though, uh, he's actually screwing himself over by lowering these platforms because, uh, sometimes... He'll try to break the platforms outright by headbutting them, but... You can still dodge that by being on a lower platform than he starts at. And with that, a golem's dead already. It turned on its new master, but that was a mistake because it's even easier to shoot a statue to death than it is to break its restraining mechanism. So, Eggman was not killed by his own, um, assets that he obtained. However, that diversion was enough for Sonic and friends to get to the rockets. Sonic could have been the first one on being the fastest thing alive and all, but he just had to show off. I mean, really, he is kind of the only one who'd look good running in this game. Just imagine Tails trying to get to a rocket in time. Nobody wants to see the walker do that. It's not fast. So we're all familiar with the old phrase, in space, all of your audio cuts are real bad, right? Because, um, I don't feel like the dub team quite had enough time to fit everything the into the scene. Where Eggman is hiding. No, he's down in a pyramid. Oh, that seems bad. What? Oh, jeez. Is everyone all right? No, not at all. The hole's open, and also, how are you writing yourself that quickly? Okay, Eggman is really good at building rockets because that should not be able to do that, I don't think. And Sonic, I believe the phrase you're looking for is, look out, you're gonna crash. Ah. Uh, Come on.